Hey everybody, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is how to multiply fractions. For example, 12 fifteenths times 3 eighths and use a cross-canceling strategy to simplify. So for these types of problems, there's three steps. First is that you want to simplify your fractions using the greatest common factor and cross-canceling. So you do the opposite numerator and denominator simplify by dividing by the greatest common factor and do that for the other set. Then you multiply the numerators on the top, last multiply the denominators on the bottom. When you simplify fractions, for example, 4 eighths, just a reminder, one half would be a simplified fraction. It's the same size. And what we did when you simplify fractions is that the numerator gets smaller and so does the denominator, but 4 eighths and 1 half are still equivalent, they're still equal, but the 1 half is the simplified fraction because it's in the lowest terms. How we do that today is use the greatest common factor or the GCF, and for example with 4 eighths we would divide both terms by the greatest common factor of 4 to get the 1 half. Okay, going back to our original problem, let's walk through the steps just a little bit slower. Okay, so we're going to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 8. In other words, our opposite numerator and denominators. That would be 4. For example, 8 divided by 4 would be 2. We cross out the 8 and rewrite the 2. At the top, the 12 would be 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. We cross out the 12 and rewrite that as 3. Now we will go to the 15 and the 3. What is the greatest common factor for those two? That would be 3. Let's start at the top with the 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. We'll cancel out the 3 and rewrite that as 1. On the bottom, the 15 would be 15 divided by 3 is 5. We cancel out the 15 and rewrite that as 5. Next, we multiply. We multiply the numerator on top. 3 times 1 is 3. And last, we multiply the denominator on the bottom. 5 times 2 is 10. And our final answer is 3 tenths. Let's look at another problem that's just slightly different. 7 25ths times 10 twelfths. Our first step is to simplify and cross cancel. Let's start with the 7 and the 12 and ask yourself what is the greatest common factor? Well, for this particular set of numbers, the greatest common factor for 7 and 12 is 1. And we do not need to simplify and cancel out these numbers because when you divide by 1, it's going to be the same number anyway. So let's move on to the 25 and the 5. What is the greatest common factor for those? That would be 5. So let's start with the 5 on the top. Divided by 5 would be 1. We'll cancel out the 5 and rewrite that as 1. On the bottom, 25, if we divide by 5, that would be 5. We cancel out the 25 and rewrite that as 5. Now we're ready to multiply. We will multiply the numerators on top. 7 times 1 would be 7. And then the denominators on the bottom. 5 times 12 is 60. And our answer would be 7 sixtieths. Okay, let's review. For problems like this, there's three steps. We simplify the fractions and use your greatest common factor and cross-canceling. Then we rewrite and multiply the numerators on top, and then last, multiply the denominators on the bottom. If you made it this far, great job. Thank you so much. Keep practicing, and we hope to see you on the next lesson.